Hi, this is Steve Morse for Sweetwater Sound. I'd like to tell you about my Ernie Ball Music Man Y2D guitar. Y2D came from a, just a joke takeoff of the Y2K, which was the year 2000, where all the computers were supposed to blow up and the world was going to end. And uh, Y2D was two decades of the time that I'd been with Ernie Ball, which now it's getting closer to three decades, which is odd since I'm 29 years old. Anyway, the guitar is very similar to my four pickup guitar with, well, similar except for all the differences. Let's start with one thing, is that the guitar balances very well and has a, uh, I think, well, perfect for me feel, but if you're, if you're comfortable with a fender spacing with jumbo frets, this is pretty much it. A little, bit, little uh, different arch and it's got the compensated nut here and 22 frets instead of 24 for a very good reason though. This pickup needs to be in this location where the, about the 23rd fret is, 24th fret, in order to get the sound. And like all the Music Man guitars, you can, you can just stick a nail in here and change the truss rod adjustment, very, sm make very small, precise adjustments in just a second. So I really like the way it's set up. Now the, uh, the humbucking pickup that I was talking about, this location, is, is the one that I use most when I'm playing high. On You notice when I when I when I uh, started playing the lower strings, I switched to the other humbucking pickup, which has more harmonics, a richer sound down low, and the it's part of my style is I I change back and forth. For that reason, this switch is designed so that you know the the, the switch basically points to the pickups, like you know the the traditional uh, Strat style. However, there's a big difference. I have some of the combinations uh, separated from the, uh, the usual. Like this points to this pickup, this position the, is a combination of the two humbuckings. So that's a little different. And then the middle position, instead of being a combination of the two humbuckings, is the single coil. And then this position is the uh, single coil and humbucking next to it, which is the logical one and this of course is this pickup which is the logical one so for playing during the solos i have the extremes are easy to to reach just just by uh, uh moving your hand so i love playing this guitar with deep purple because it just fits you know it's just it's got that that big rhythm <laughs> And I use a, a whammy bar version for you know, like Highway Star and this one for uh, space trucking, smoke in the water, and the, the meat and potatoes rock and roll stuff. It, this guitar works better. And why does it sound different? I think it's because of the wood. The wood is heavier and it has a laminated top uh, with, with binding, but the, the, the laminated top changes the sound. I never would have thought that until I, you know, experienced being somewhat involved in the uh, prototype designs and, and seeing that the, the pickups react all different ways. And a, a very important point is, is the, the, the fact that there's more, uh, more actual solid wood on this guitar, which is why the, the clear pickguard is here. They originally had a, a pit guard covering it up, and I saw how beautiful the, the wood fin finish was. I said, you gotta, you gotta let me see it. <laughs> so I put on a clear pit guard. They're like, are you sure? I said, yeah. And unfortunately for them, that meant a lot more work getting you know, everything to look pretty inside. Uh, this is actually the, the prototype, which I got attached to. But I can pick up one off the shelf right here from Sweetwater and play it at the show. In fact, I do that sometimes when I'm doing guitar clinics. Somebody will buy a guitar and, you know, 
I'll invite him to the show and, and have him stand, stand on the side of the stage while I uh, play their guitar on one of the songs. And the only thing we need to do to it is, is tune it. Maybe sometimes move, move this pickup back, depending on, on how, it, you know, how it's adjusted. So that was a big part of the design, was making sure that we could take one off the shelf and have it feel like home. So I really am glad about the way that's worked out. Let me talk a little bit more about the sounds. Um, the single coil pickup I use, well, it, let, me, let me show you how I would use it in a, in a rock context, is, is as a way to get, to, to reduce the amount of distortion. So let's, let's say I'm doing a, a really busy <laughs> I can get the sound way down, uh, the, the amount of distortion reduced by quite a bit by using the single coil pickup it, uh, and turning down the volume. So I twitch the single coil, bring the volume down on the guitar without having to change anything on the amp. And that allows me to clean it up to, to the point where I can even play some chord things, you know. <laughs> When you turn down a distorted humbucking, you'll lose some high end. And I think, it, to my way of thinking, it's because the, the hard hitting distortion, it, it's hitting that wall that's creating those sharp edge uh, cut off waves, that, that uh, overdriven sound. It creates uh, sideband harmonics that uh, appear as extra high end. When you turn down and the sound waves start to come to the threshold of volume near uh, where the cutoff point is, then suddenly you start to hear more detail and less apparent high end. To make up for that, I switch from the humbucking to the single coil as I'm turning the guitar down. And that way I, I, get, I retain the clarity and the high end that, that uh, the audience is pretty much hearing from the distortion of the humbucking. And that, that, that's an important reason why I keep the single coil pickup. Also, I think it combines really well, you know, for a pleasant sound for other kinds of things. That's the single coil combined with the uh, humbucking. Single coil by itself, you know, you can get a fender sound. The humbuckings together is one of my favorite settings, and it's just very neutral. You notice that it's got high end, it's got low end, it doesn't have any out of phase, it doesn't have any like honkiness or or you know, like funky sound to it is just pretty much clear, and and I love that setting. In order to make this happen in this position, and and only have a five position switch, uh, we had to use a multi pole switch, in, in, instead of you know one one wiper going between the, uh, the 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 three pickups like this. There's a set of four of them, you know, all doing the same thing in, in parallel. So we we could switch the wiring around. The bottom line was it's one switch instead of three. My, my four pickup guitar is three. And the reason we ended up with a five-way switch 
also was I discovered live I was using five sounds, five combinations of, of the, the switches. And just to sim simplify it and make it, uh, well, I guess you, you can just pick it up and ev everywhere you go, there's a sound you can use. So um, that's basic, the basic idea of the switching. And all in all, I think this is, I'd, I'd say my favorite rock guitar. If you have any more questions about this guitar or any Music Man products, contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. Mm -hmm.